Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, I was about to edit and upload to YouTube a uh, video that I'm doing for a Cougar Attack X3 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, but I also have to do a video for Wonder Show from Mora, a video editing suite. So I figured, let me show you how I do all that editing. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Wonder Show from Mora. All right, I'm going to leave the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and select full featured mode. Get rid of all this stuff up here. All right, so I just got rid of all my uh, media right up here, pictures and videos and everything. I'm going to bring it back in to show you guys how it's done. So I just open up Explorer, go to video. Here is all the stuff I'm working on. And I'm just going to import all these videos. And that looks like it's it. Just drag and drop. I'm also going to be using some of these pictures I took. Might not use them all. But they're there. Alright, drag and drop, same way. And then also I'm going to be using maybe this guy, maybe this guy, drag it in there. And then going back to my main videos, I'm going to be using DB intro and DB outro. Alright, drag and drop. Alright, so DB intro, that's the intro you all know and love for Dragon Blogger. So in here, I'm also going to be dropping the main video clip. Let's see if I can find it. I should have named it better. I didn't. Um, let's see. There we go. I think this is it. All right. So first off, I've already split all these guys up so I'm gonna come over here now you can see on my timeline it looks like I'm right on maybe a second or two where the video turns from dark to light but using the little slider over here we can actually zoom in a little bit better into the timeline you can see how, how far off I was so I'm just gonna go ahead and rewind and Wow, it was really far off. All right, and all right. So now I don't want the dark part, so I'll click. I'll right-click on the timeline and click split. Then I'll right-click on the space I don't want and click delete. So now, when it's done with Dragon Blogger. It goes straight into there. There's also back no background noise that I don't want. So I'm going to right click on here. Choose audio detach. Alright, so that de brings the audio down here and the video up here. So now I just right click on this audio. Right click delete. And now, nothing there. Another thing you'll notice is the video might not look incredibly sharp. So I'll right click on it. I'll click auto enhance. So you can see... Just take a look how that makes it look a little bit sharper, a little clearer. I'm also going to right click on it and choose edit. You can see how the enhance, audio denoise, auto denoise and enhance, that's what I was clicking on down there, so that's right in here. I'm also going to be playing with the contrast. I'll choose 10 and brightness. I'll choose 10 as well. All right, you can play with saturation and hue a little bit. I'm not going to too much. 
Uh, probably not at all. And hue. A little crazy there. But just wanted to show you how that part works. All right. So now that is going to go for the extent of this clip itself. If I drag and drop another clip, I have to do the same things to those clips. Um, another thing is I'm actually recording my screen from within Filmora, outside of Filmora. So the way I did that was I opened up Filmora and then I click File, Record Media, Record PC Screen. Then it brings up a little tiny window here and then I just click Record and then I can close Filmora out and record outside of Filmora. So that's a really nice feature they also have in here. All right, so first off, come back over here. And now there's gonna be a lot of still time here. And so what I'm going to do is just wait till it starts spinning. It's kind of a little showcase of the keyboard. All right, and so I'm gonna right click here. I'll click split, right click here or single click and click on the icon here that says delete. It looks like a trash can. All right, so if we come back a little tiny bit, now start spinning immediately. All right, so now when it comes back to the front where it was right when it started, uh, we're gonna add a little something there. All right, so right around there, maybe go back. That looks good right there, I think. Uh, maybe rewind a tiny second. Nope, right there. All right, so I'm gonna choose here. I can either select it and click split right here, or like you saw before, right click and split. I'll just use them both so you can see it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in here, uh, where did it say? I'm going to do medium that's actually low I just named it wrong so I come in here and actually I see that yeah that's actually perfect transition all right so that was a few seconds I'm gonna stop it right there right click on it split right click on the end part and click delete it automatically brings the previous clip and joins it right here so that way you don't have to go to the you know a few screens to the right or to the left and drag and drop it gets a little annoying uh, thankfully this doesn't have to do that so like I did before I'm gonna select this clip right click auto enhance you can see how that changed the quality there I'm also gonna do audio detach and right click on that audio and delete it so now you can see here keyboard spinning bam that's how the low light looks like keyboard spinning all right and right there all right i'm gonna right click split and now high that's actually not high, that should have been medium. And we'll do the same thing, right click, audio detach, right click, audio enhance. Now we'll delete the audio. Come back over here. All right, transition, stop, right click, split, delete, and all right, nice little change there all right stop it right here right there right click split and now we'll do high two all right and that's a short one so We'll just right click, audio detach, right click, audio enhance, and then we'll just delete the audio from there. And then 
we'll go right back into daylight and stop right there right click split and now we'll do breathing whoops wrong place So now this one's a little bit longer, and but we'll do uh, auto enhance and audio detach like we've always done. All right, and this video just shows the breathing effects. I am going to leave it three times. It cycles three times. Then it goes back. And now we'll add another cool little effect here. Uh, all right, so right click, split. Now we're going to do a split screen. Uh, we'll do this one. Bring that right over here. Going to move a little forward. So in here we do left to right, drag it over here. We can drag any video, this one over here, and then drag another video right to left. Where'd it go? Right over here and just drag and drop right in here. So now I'm gonna click OK. Actually, right click on here, edit. Oops, we'll click OK. Right click here, edit. Ah, okay. Alright, so, so I'm just going over the keyboard real quick, and then sometimes we do have to, oh, maybe it wasn't that long, extend that split screen. Okay, come back over here. And then we'll do a cut right here. Delete this guy. And edit here. All right. Doesn't give you the feature here to edit audio. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, after I put it all together, I'll just come back in later and delete the audio. Not a big deal very easy to do so just wanted to show you that split screen that is very cool I think there's a lot more we can do too All right, and then so we'll do another pass here and then pause right here Okay, and let's see. Now we can just drag and drop a picture over here. Oops, actually, excuse me. Go back to media. Actually, maybe we can. Let's go back for a second. No, we can't. I thought we could. All right, so come back over here. stop it all right so now we'll go ahead and drag and drop a picture don't worry it's not gonna eat up that whole screen should have put it down here okay show the night or with the light on, sorry. And then now we'll show the key removed. So people can see how it is. All right, 
and stop it right there again. And we'll do, let's see, do I want to use that one? We'll use that one. Just to show people what it looks like without the keys on there. And actually, it might be a better idea. And we'll just keep it rolling in the background. Uh, let's see. Just showing people how the how the lights look when you take off the keys. Let's see, do we need any more? I think we already have this one. We do. Just press delete to get rid of it. And we don't have that one from a different angle. We'll just bring that one over here. Alright, and let's go ahead and move this guy over here. kind of snaps in the place which is pretty nice now we'll go ahead at this guy here See, is there anything else we want to add? There? Well, that should be about it. So, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll come back over here. It's done there. We'll stop it. All right. Just right click here. Split. And then we'll go ahead and add the outro which is right over here all right and I'm going to audio detach there so now you know this might be kind of boring if anything with no audio we do want to add some audio Wondershare brings some very nice audio Let's see, just some nice songs. And let's go ahead, go to. Now, mind you, I'm not going to add it right now, but I'm going to show you how it sounds. Okay. Um, and let's go to audio. We can see right over here video, picture, picture, picture. You notice I was dragging and dropping, so every time you drag and drop one, it'll add another one in case you want to add more. So here is music. We see the notes here. Okay, and so over here, I'm going to add, let's say, courtside. I don't know what it is, but we'll add it. These are royalty free songs.
I'm not sure I want to use that one. <laughs> But hey, so what we can do is we can just come back over here. Go down here. Delete it if we don't like that one. We have a bunch of songs. Let's go to Chemical Help. A little bit more upbeat. All right, that's not bad at all. So let's just make sure it goes to the very end. If not, we can just add another song. Mm. Okay, goes way too far. That's okay though. We can always cut. So let's see. So now another thing we can do, we'll go to is it overlays, transition. We'll go to ah yeah no I think it's this one yeah this one I really like this feature. Uh, mind you, this program has a lot of cool features I like, but uh, let's just go ahead. We'll add right over here, and if it doesn't have it. Uh, let's say it's something they're introducing or you know they have a a, a, a new monthly uh, freebie every month it seems they add a few more uh, bonus features to the software of course including the updates the updates every time you start the program it quickly looks for an update doesn't find one doesn't bug you if it finds one it will let you know hey there's a new update you don't need to do it then you could do it next time you start it up pretty cool feature but every so I think it's every month or so they offer new packs that'll give you uh, new text new filters overlays elements transitions a lot of cool features but anyway let me go ahead um, edit this to say cougar attack x3 all right so let's, I don't know if I like that one too much. Yeah, I don't like that one. That's okay, they have a ton of them. Let's see. And these that you see a little blue arrow, it means they are available, they're free. So you can just download them. They have more on their website that are not free. Yeah, you do have to purchase them, but they have a ton that are free. So you don't have to worry too much about that. So right click, edit, and We'll do Cougar Attack X3. All right. So now we'll just open this up a little bit so it fits that text. All right. And we'll bring the text over. So now, pretty cool. All right, so now we'll go back and we can always add 
you know different types of filters we'll do uh, black and white so we can always make these black and white a cool feature it has I'm not gonna add it to this one but I'll, I'll show it to you is so I added black and white there and now I go to overlays uh, let's see I think that's pretty cool but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and delete that so I think we're pretty much done there uh, so we've done an entire video I've shown you how I've done everything um, and let me go to that song just to make sure that all right so we need it to end right here We'll do a split and so now it goes through the entire thing so that is nice so I'm gonna go ahead and click export uh, let's see, uh, Cougar Attack X3 Showcase. Now, I'm going to mention one thing. Typically, I would edit in under AVI. Okay? The problem is when under this software and the current version, I've already discussed this with them. Uh, you know, thankfully, I do have good communication with Wondershare. Is when you have a long video when you select AVI and then you cut it and you add another video it forces you to add um, one or two seconds of darkness at the end of the video and one or two seconds of darkness at the beginning of the video uh, you know the two that you just attached and there's no way to get rid of that they are working on that to correct that another thing before I do edit that I'm gonna go ahead and just save that title so I don't have to type it again is if I go under file and settings so it does use GPU acceleration now there is a bit of a catch so a lot of different pieces of software rather than actually validating a certain driver Wondershare actually validates a video card which is both good and bad because sometimes a certain video card just doesn't do you know what the software needs it to do and you're gonna get a lot of issues um, I was using, oh, well, and actually I'll get to this in a second, but so these guys, rather than validating a particular driver, they validate a card. I'm using the Sapphire R9390 video card. This one doesn't work. Uh, they actually want you to use a 360. Now, they are updating it all the time. So, you know, maybe by the time if you check out the software, which uh, if you look at the description below, you can either buy it from the description below or you can check out a free sample they have. But aside from that, by the time you get it, maybe they would have already fixed that. Uh, but they are working on that. Um, so it works with Intel, so integrated uh, CPU video, AMD, which I have one now. This particular card doesn't work, and NVIDIA. Okay, and it tells you what card you have here as well one other thing and I'll actually I'll show you that as I am exporting it so export it and just paste that name I've already done I chose my resolution of 1920 by 1080 you can change it here you can add you know more frames per second for the video you can select best you know you can change pretty much anything here um, all right so I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna click export so now it's exporting the entire clip so I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the taskbar and choose task manager bring it over here and I go to performance now most of you that have done video editing know that when you edit video your CPU performance goes through the roof not so much on this side and I've brought this up to Wondershare's attention 
it, they're saying that after a certain time, maybe 20 minutes or 30, 40 minutes, that's when the CPU utilization takes place. Now, I don't really think that that's up to them to decide. I should decide that, and I want it to, you know, 100% hit my CPU when I'm using it. Now, mind you, on other pieces of software, if it does hit 100% your CPU, you're stuck, you can't do anything, you have to walk away, you can render video. So it's both a good thing and a bad thing because now I can render video and I can, you know, probably play a, a, a game, maybe not a very high-end game, but I can play a game, I can get on Facebook, I can get on YouTube, I can do a few things, I'm not stuck to just Wondershare. So, pretty cool feature. Now, one thing I was going to mention before, Wondershare has a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version. Now, this is a very affordable piece of software, so you wouldn't think they would have all these features. Before Wondershare, I used to use Camtasia, which is also a very nice piece of software. I like it a lot. The problem is, it's a lot more money, and you would think for a lot more money, you would get more features. Problem is, you're kind of stuck to 4 gigs of RAM because it's only 32-bit. Wondershare from Mora allows you to use more because it is 64-bit or 32-bit. Take your pick. Um, aside from that, and, and don't freak out when I say 64-bit, but I have a 32-bit OS. If you do, that's fine. Windows on Windows, it'll work just fine. So the 32-bit version of Camtasia works on a 64-bit version of Windows, again, because of WoW. So you're fine. Not World of Warcraft. Windows on Windows. All right. Aside from that, um, because of that 4 gig limitation, many times while I was doing editing and dragging and dropping files into Camtasia, it would crash. Now, mind you, it does have a cool recovery feature. Now, the problem with that is while the recovery feature does work, if it crashes too many times, you're kind of stuck because you can't really render or encode that video. Sometimes what I would find myself doing was doing everything I wanted to do, saving the video, exiting Camtasia, maybe restart the computer, re-import that video, cut that video in half, delete the other portion, just, you know, not save it and delete it, just delete it, render the first 10 minutes or, you know, something like that. That would usually work. Then I would come back in, re-import the video, delete the first half of the video. It was a nightmare. It was a great piece of software. It took advantage of your GPU, took advantage of your CPU, but it seemed to have issues. Um, I haven't found any issues besides, you know, the ones I've reported to you guys and to Wondershare, and they're going to work on them. So anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you how to edit within Wondershare's Filmora software and uh, well there'll be a lot more uh, written review coming up soon keep your eye on dragonblogger.com and of course as always aside from Dragon Blogger keep an eye out on the YouTube site a lot of times all the videos that we're doing they come out there first then later on after we do them we put them on a review so kind of a sneak peek so anyway this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger out See you guys.